Oh my god, give this poor rich man finally an Oscar. He so needs it and he so deserves it. He put so much effort in this role, it's unbelievable. I s unbelievable. I swear to god, cities will burn if this man doesn't get an Oscar. So, I just saw Wolf of Wall Street yesterday and I totally liked it. So enjoy the shit out of this movie. I enjoy every second from beginning to end. It was such a great movie. I can see why this movie gets so high praises by critics and recently even by the Academy. I mean, it has an Oscar nomination for Best Movie and now Leo has finally an Oscar nomination for Best uh, Lead Role. Jonah Hill has a nomination for Best Supporting Cast. Yeah, it's, I can totally see why. So. What's the story? Uh, Leo plays Jordan Belford, who really existed or really exists, uh, a stockbroker who is uh, who was a really sleazy guy. He, he had so much money and he just spent it for all the shit you can spend money. He was a sex addict. He was a drug addict. He he uh, yeah he made he did every shit you can make with uh, with money you even can imagine. And it's his rise and fall, it's a biopic, basically. And yeah, and uh, it, Scorsese did a classical Scorsese drama, comedy, action. It was, it was great. It was great. And Leo as the lead role, he was really good. I, I really enjoyed him in this role and he did everything. His body was basically of it for this role. In one scene, he, he falls downstairs, almost breaks uh, all his bones. He drives a Ferrari, a white Ferrari, uh, like the one in Miami Vice, which he just drives for the sake of having a white Ferrari, like in Miami Vice. And his character, yeah, he was an asshole. He was a total asshole and a douche and a, a despicable person, but yeah, you like, you still like him. The way Leo plays it, it was it was really good. Like, uh, it, uh, you you totally sympathize with this character, even if he's such a horrible human being. Uh, in, at one point, he he tries to uh, kidnap his daughter, almost kills her, and then in the other point and the other scene, he he sniffs dr uh, drugs from a hooker's ass. Yeah, that's that's, totally, that's basically the movie. And yeah, the supporting cast is also really great. Uh, you have Jonah Hill, um, which I recently saw in This Is The End. There he was raped by a demon and here he has this really big buck teeth and big glasses. He basically looks like a Jewish mom, stereotypical Jewish mom. And he also has some very good scenes. One scene, spoiler, he, he masturbates or he tries to masturbate. And yeah, <laughs> that's... That's really good. And uh, some actors you don't even know they were in this movie just pop out of nowhere like John Favreau is in it, BJ Byron, Rob Ryan, even the real Jordan Belford has in his has a really good scene. He was a he was a guy who shows Leo the, the Wall Street and he's a real asshole. He's like, Pick up the phone, you fucking asshole! Yeah and yeah, who, uh, Matthew McConaughey, he was in the trailer, and uh, but his scene is basically the scene you see in the trailer. Uh, it, it was this... If you saw the trailer, you know which scene I'm talking of. And yeah, he was also very good. He was in it for like five, ten, five or ten minutes, but it was good. It was really enjoyable. I really liked it. And yeah, um, John Bernthal was in it, which I saw in Grudge Match, and this role here is so much better. He's that Chuck, who is also a sex addict, and uh, and uh, yeah, he's he's also all characters are big, uh, are kind of despicable and horrible human beings, but you like them. They were they were portrayed so good in a in this in a stereotypical way. You you cannot like them. They are they really good. And uh, the people I was uh, in the movies yesterday, they said it was 
probably a little bit too long or definitely too long. It's three hours. The movie's three hours long, but I, I didn't mind it. The it was it was good from beginning to start. It has really good scenes, sometimes even bizarre scenes, like they had a meeting where they talk about how to treat a midget or an, an honest, in another scene there is a, a rescue dance party in Italia and that a, a, a seconds after that a plane just explodes out of nowhere. That's the movie. And yeah, it was really good. And yeah, well, I, what I personally thought was really good they uh, went so, uh, at some point they went to uh, Switzerland, uh, Geneva, to make a bank business, which is really weird because if you go nowadays to uh, Switzerland to make bank business, you're doing it in Zurich. But maybe that was the that was back then in the 90s or 80s. I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't quite there yet. But yeah, it was a really good movie, and give Leo the fucking Oscar. He needs it.